Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to see is men at work banging nuts and props for approximately two hours, heating things with torches and making a wheel puller out of one and a quarter inch bolts and one and a half inch galvanized steel pipe. And here we go. This video was made in 1999 in December, November and December of 1999. Banging on the nuts to break some of the salt water oxidation from the bronze nuts to the stainless steel shaft. Then utilizing a wrench I made out of half inch plate steel, removing the nuts and eventually the prop. That's my cousin Stephen pulling on the rope and I am banging on the wrench with a 10 pound sledgehammer. The nuts are seven and a half inches in diameter and the stainless steel shaft that runs through the stern drive unit is four inches in diameter and the stern drive unit is a Murray and Tegertha 07 stern drive unit made for landing craft for World War II with a 671 dual motor package into a twin disc stern transmission into the Murray and Tegertha 07 unit and that propeller actually runs on a barrel gear with, which allows it to rotate 360 degrees so that you don't have to use the reverse. And the stern drive goes straight down to straight up and you can use it for a fan in the pilot house. Now I'm going to fast forward here a little bit to the creation of the wheel puller, which in this case it's a real wheel puller. Now we're adding an extension on the wheel puller that I made from the one and a quarter inch bolts. I guess I'm modifying it somehow. 13 years ago, I have a tendency to forget the minor details. Uh, the bolt didn't fit through the second hole is what it is. And my glove just went on fire. Okay, now we're making the uh, bolts fit into the wheel puller. <laughs> it's 
speed it up a little bit. Put the bolt into the sleeve onto the hole and then we're going to have to modify it at least one more time. Now we're going to put some torque onto the bolts with a 30 inch steel Stilson wrench. None of that magnesium stuff on the barge. temperature is approximately 40 degrees that day, somewhere between 35 and 40. It was a pretty warm day. And as you apply the torque, you beat down on the nuts, try to free up the prop. And as much as we did that, even heating the propeller for almost an hour at some point before this and putting penetrol in it, it still wasn't enough to free that prop up. Eventually I had to put about 25 tons of pressure or 50,000 pounds of pressure or lift via a set of slings from the crane even after beating the prop and heating it for more than two hours aside from the fact that we beat on the nuts for two hours as well before I started the video along with heat Now I'm going to fast forward it here a little bit. And this is the part of the video where we apply the 50,000 pounds of uplift to pop the prop off the shaft and I put that prop on in 1988 and immersed the shaft and the propeller inside and outside housing with never sees and even though there was a half a pint of never sees between the shaft the propeller and on the nuts it still took four hours to beat the prop off. 